Hello, Stan from GPT for Sheets and Docs here. Today I'm going to teach you about the max tokens parameter. So just to show you what I'm talking about, if you start typing a GPT function and you go through in the help, this is the max tokens parameter. You can also find it in our Google Docs integration. Oops, sorry, I'll just delete this for now. Um, it is here, available here. So what is this? Well, let's first go to the official OpenAI playground where it is called maximum length. And if you read what they say, they say this is that the maximum number of tokens to generate. Uh, requests can use up to 2,048 or 4,000 tokens shared between prompt and completion. The exact limit varies by model. Um, okay, so that's a lot of complicated words um, basically what you need to um, remember is that we are going to use the text DaVinci 003 model. This is the best model that OpenAI has available so far and the, there is a limit to the size of the prompts plus the response which they call completion. Um, for that model it is 4,000 tokens. So the prompt is write a tagline for a nice cream shop. This is the prompt and the response in this case would be cool streets on the block. So uh, those two put together should, uh, the size of that length of, the, of those two put together should be lower than or equal to 4,000 tokens. So you will ask now, okay, what is a token? Well, a token is a subunit to a word. Um, OpenAI has made a what they call a tokenizer here, which is available at platform.openai.com slash tokenizer. And if you, so I will just reload it. Okay, if you add some text here, I clicked on show example, it will add some text and it will show you the tokenization of that text below. So each, um, each token is represented by a different color highlight. So you can see that many, which is one word here, is represented by one token. Words, which is a five letter words, including the space. Um, so in fact, a six letter word uh, makes a six letter token. It's just one token. But some uh, characters take up one token by, all by themselves. For example, the comma here, or the colon, or the full stop. And an emoji here, the hand emoji, actually takes six tokens just by itself. Uh, so your mileage may vary. And what they, what OpenAI says, the rule of thumb that they use is for uh, English language, usually a hundred tokens amounts to roughly 75 words. Um, so let's, let's try this. Uh, let's just copy paste this text here into Google Docs and use the word count feature of Google Docs to see what they say. So I will go to word count and they tell me this is 39 words. So now I will input those two numbers in my spreadsheets. So tokens was 39, uh, 64, 64 tokens and then words is 39, so that's uh, uh, tokens over words ratio of 1.64, um, which is higher than the rule of thumb that they give, because the rule of thumb they give 100 tokens for 75 words is in fact 1.33. So. Um, yeah, uh, your mileage may vary uh, again, and you should probably plan this. This will help you plan for the maximum number of tokens that you want to use so that you ensure that you stay under the 4,000 tokens limit for both the prompt plus the response. Um, and since it is very easy to uh, 
limit the prompt because you are typing the prompt. So it is very easy to manage the size of the prompt. Uh, it can be, uh, you don't know what the response will be in advance, right? So uh, the maximum tokens parameter has been introduced so that you could limit uh, the size, the maximum size of the response that OpenAI will give you, GPT will give you. So here, in this case, it is 256 tokens. Uh, 256 tokens, uh, if we put it here and we use our, uh, I mean, the tokenizer rule, so it would be 256 divided by this, that will be 156 uh, tokens. But if we use a different rule, uh, their rule of thumb, it will be equal to um, this divided by 1.33, 192 words. So you have what basically a lower and upper bound of what the maximum of words is allowed by 256 tokens uh, for the English language. Again, like other languages would probably use more tokens since they are the words are generally longer uh, and non-Latin based alphabets will use a lot more tokens, of course, as well. Um, so if you want to, so since you are billed by tokens, a uh, number of tokens used both in prompt and in the answer, uh, you need to make sure that uh, you can limit the size of the answer in order to control your costs. Um, and also a lower, uh, a, 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 a smaller response will usually come faster than a longer response. So basically, um, the, the max tokens parameter will limit uh, the maximum length of the response that comes in terms of tokens. Uh, if you want, so let's go to uh, the playground again. So if I want a, uh, let's say that for example, I will ask it to write a blog post, so something longer, uh, write a blog post about ice creams. Okay, uh, I will delete this and I will keep it at 256 here. I click submit. As you can see, it is writing the answer and we'll wait until it is finished in order to copy this into Google Docs to see how many words were generated. So I delete this. Oops, sorry, it seems I may, I failed to copy it. Let's try again. So, okay. Okay, this worked. And now I can get the word count. So Google Docs says 190 words. So we have uh, 190 words here. If I now paste it into the tokenizer, it says 254 tokens. So I will go back to my spreadsheets and put 254, 190, and let's get the ratio here, 1.33. So in this case, since uh, there are there is basically very little punctuation and there is no weird character like an emoji, uh, their rule of thumb worked very well. Uh, so, okay, but now what if, uh, as you can see, it generated um, 254 tokens. So just under the limits, the maximum limit that I input. If I had said that it should be instead uh, 1,000 tokens, I will delete this. Um, okay, and try it again. It will take a few seconds, it should take longer um, because the more tokens you ask for, I mean, the more tokens you let it write for, the longer it is. And since here my prompt is very open-ended, it should write a longer text. Okay, so how many I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to paste it into the tokenizer. And here I got 388 tokens and I'm now gonna paste it into Google Docs. Okay, and the word count is 
316. So I'm going to report those numbers here. 388 tokens, 316 words. And so the ratio is 122. So actually quite a good ratio here. But as you see, um, this it wrote more tokens than when I had put uh, 256 maximum length. So you can use this in in Google Sheets or in Google Docs with the GPT for Sheets and Docs um, add-on. So let's delete all of this. For example, here, GPT, I will say, okay, write a um, series of tweets about ice cream series of uh, I would say 10 tweets and now I will um, purposely purposely uh, purposefully um, put a very low max tokens I will put a hundred max tokens which Rule of thumb of OpenAI corresponds to 75 words, which really should not be enough for 10 tweets. And let's see what uh, GPT answers. Okay, so I got four tweets that were uh, done. And then as you can see, the fifth one is actually cut. That's because uh, it couldn't go above. With this amount of characters, we got above the 100 tokens limits. If I put this in the tokenizer, you will see I have reached the maximum limit that I set. So now if it's very easy for me to get actually the full results, uh, I can increase this, <coughs> sorry, to uh, let's say 400 tokens, which should be enough. And by the way, I will make this function GPT list so that I can get each tweet in one cell. Okay. And there we go. We got one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tweets. Uh, they're all uh, complete. Uh, so this worked. So you need to be careful, mindful about this parameter. Um, the more, the higher it is, uh, the more the response can be long, and so the more it will cost you. Uh, but also, if it is too low, the response you get might be incomplete. Uh, so you trial and error will usually uh, get you the result that you want. Um, one more thing, uh, since GP, since uh, Google Sheets functions need to respond within thirty seconds very high values of max tokens will usually uh, result in a timeout error in uh, Google Sheets. So if you need to generate long form content such as a blog post, it is better to use um, the Google Docs integration. So you can go to Google Docs and here type write a blog post about ice cream. You can put a thousand uh, max tokens parameter and let's put the temperature at 0 0.5 and then click submit and this will take a little while we do not have streaming yet in the integration so the words do not appear one by one like they did in the playground but this will come in the future so usually you will have to wait um, roughly between 30 seconds and one minute, depending. Actually, this was quite fast. So as you can see here, I got my blog post um, and it worked very well. And let's see how many tokens were generated. So I copied this and paste it here, 378 tokens. Okay, so uh, last thing uh, about this topic is you might want to estimate your costs before doing so, uh, those requests. So for this, we created on our website a, a pricing calculator uh, that lets you estimate the price of a single request and of multiple requests. Uh, by request, again, we, we count both the prompt and the response and the size of the sum of those two. So if the request has 10 words, uh, 
uh, we took the um, OpenAI rule of thumb here to convert words to tokens. Uh, so a request of 10 words uh, will cost you a very little uh, amount. And a thousand of those requests will cost you 27 cents. For example, for if you want to write a blog post uh, of roughly a thousand words, uh, including the prompt, which should not be very big compared to the response, it will take roughly uh, 1,333 tokens. And one of those will cost you a little more than two cents. And thousand blog posts will cost you almost $27. So you can actually play with this. For example, if you want 100 blog posts or 100 requests, you can just input the value you want. If you want exactly, I don't know, 400, uh, 42, let's say, uh, requests, you can type it in and it will update automatically here. So I think this will help you estimate your costs. Um, and we have here a little FAQ uh, of, as to what is a request, what is a prompt, what is a response, what is a token. Um, we give a few examples here as well, and uh, we give some full examples here uh, if you want to have something more concrete. Uh, and we also give these examples in different languages so that you can see different ratios depending on the language. As you can see, French has higher ratios uh, and Spanish as well. Okay, this video has been quite long. Uh, I hope that you understood what I said. Please do not hesitate to ask questions in the comments um, and give me feedback. It is very appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.